In this video, I will demonstrate the use of a Keensert thread repair insert. Keensert is a brand name for a type of thread insert that uses a mechanical key locking mechanism to secure it to the housing during installation. The insert is a bushing or cylinder with internal and external threads. The insert is provided with keys that are mounted in dovetail slots in the insert. During installation of the insert, the keys drive into the housing material and lock it securely to the housing as I will demonstrate later. One of the reasons that key inserts are a popular method of thread repair is that they are straightforward to install using standard, readily available drills and taps. Start by drilling out the old threads using the recommended drill size, then use a countersink to create a chamfer. The chamfer is used to control the depth of the insert during installation. Next, cut the installation threads using the recommended tap size. If the hole is prepared properly, the insert should install easily by hand. Screw it into the hole until the keys contact the countersunk surface. At this point, the top of the insert should be recessed slightly below the surface of the workpiece. An installation tool is used to drive the keys into the housing. This surface contacts the tops of the keys during installation. A pilot helps guide the tool in the insert. And a collar helps keep the keys from bending as they are driven into the housing material. To use the installation tool, simply hold it against the tops of the keys Make sure that the collar of the tool is in contact with the surface of the workpiece flange. Then hit the installation tool using several light taps with the hammer until the keys are seated. At this point I like to use a hammer and a center punch to tap on the tops of each of the keys so that they are recessed slightly below the top of the insert. Once that is done, the installation of the insert is complete. The Keensert removal process is also easily accomplished. To do so, use the recommended drill size and drill a hole to the specified depth on the drill chart. Then, bend the keys inward to break them off and remove them from the insert. Next, drive an easy out into the remaining portion of the insert. The old insert should unthread easily from the housing. Once removed, a new key insert can be installed in the housing without the need for any additional rework. Thanks for watching. RepairEngineering.com